Welcome to this match between these two teams. This one is too tight to call. There's so little between the teams. Justin Marshall joins me here this evening. And Justin, the atmosphere here, phenomenal. Yeah, definitely. Both teams will be itching to get this one underway. There's a strong breeze here that will affect more than just the kicking game. I expect fatigue to play a part as well. A clash of philosophies is on the cards for this match. These teams approach rugby very differently. Let's watch some rugby. There's been plenty of build-up to this game. Here's the referee, and we're ready for kickoff. And we're underway in Wellington. Kickoff fielded by Piranara. That's a forward pass there. That's a basic mistake. He'll be disappointed with himself for that one. We'll have a look here. So the first scrum goes to the Wyverns. Fed now by Wigglesworth. Good pushing from both teams. Well, here's a moment. They're all looking for holes in that defence. Let's see what they can do. Ball is out now. Halfback takes the ball. Ainsbury, driven backwards. The second rower excels the little dummy. Raymond, unable to hold him. Twenty-two metre restart made by Barrett. It sits up for the number five. He's been hit high and looks in some pain. Smith got a bit carried away there and the ref is heading over to him. Let's have a look at this. He clearly went above the chest. The ref is right to call it. So they'll have a shot at goal here. Johnny Wilkinson with the kick now, lining it up. It sails towards the posts. And that penalty has cost them three points, the Dolphins. That is good. Very good kick on that occasion. Well, they'll be happy with that. They would have wanted to strike first. Barrett gets us going again. Kickoff taken in by the number five. Burst out of the first one. Vandell shows his pace. And they won't be able to catch him. Real chance here. There's the first try for the Wyverns. It was a good build up there. I like the way they handled themselves. And they get some points as a result. My word, that is a good try. There's a real excited buzz around the crowd here. Kick at goal still to come. Wilkinson now with the conversion, and he's not about to take this kick for granted. Oh, and he's off the post. I get the feeling he's just not timing it right at the moment. Here's the kickoff from Barrett. 
The kickoff down to Piranara. Passes the 22 meter line. Possible turnover here. Now on to the number eight. Support there. Simple pass for Bowden. He's got some pace. And that's gone dead. I suspect they'll come back for the scrum here. The Dolphins get the scrum. Furious looking scrum down there. Piranara off the back. So this scrum has been nice and solid. Now flicks it to Kane. Cut out ball. Off goes Fruin, running hard at the Wyverns. The Dolphins are over for their first try. They finally got him into some space and he showed us just how brilliant he can be. What a try. The centre has done good work in there, very good work. So, here's the try again. Yeah, he's done very well there. Breaks away and then no one could catch him. Simply too fast. Here comes the conversion. So this, an easy conversion, right in front of the posts. No trouble with that, two more points. So with that, the gap closes right up and they would have to favour their chances to get ahead. The Wyverns kick off. Kick off nicely taken in by Kane. Yes, that was some pretty good hands on display there, Nisbo. Trying to get a drive going here. Fruin has it at the back of the mall. Kane flicks the ball inside. Met by the defence. Delivers the pass out to Raymakers. That's a very flat pass. And met by the number 11. Gives it to Perinara. Inside now to Vito. Smash! And a penalty. Oh yeah, that was a high one and he's lucky to get away with just a penalty. McCaw is going to find himself in the bin by the looks of this. Well, have a look at this. Good spotting by the referee. It was definitely high, that tackle. Barrett to kick for touch. And he's banged it into touch. Five takes it down. The front rower takes him down. The Dolphins getting more players to the ball. Cut out ball from Fito. Oh, cut out pass. Jose Gear giving the defence something to think about. He's tackled and taken into touch. The second rower is the target. Forward pass, not a good one. Let's look at this replay. A scrum now. Touch. Pause. puts it in. Halfback takes the ball. The ball is out now. Looks like they got the initial momentum. The initial hit, as they call it. Good, strong scrum from the Dolphins. 
gives it out to Tialata. Cut out pass to Pruitt. So oh, what a try. He certainly knows how to score the tries, this guy, doesn't he? We'll get another chance to see this here. And we're ready for the conversion attempt. Barrett goes through his routine of lining up the kick. This one off to the side, but not too difficult. And it looks like he'll get this. Oh, it's hit the post, but no goal. Yeah, it wasn't a great angle to work with, was it? Kickoff made by the 5 8. Kirkpatrick waits. Inside pass. Vito still going. Short pass here. And support is there for Prush. He's nearly there. What a run. Try there under the posts. The lock just showed great pace there to score the try. He only needs a little space to work with. Amazing. He's been impressive in this game. Barrett with the kick right in front of the posts and he's bounced it in so it converts the try the Dolphins are well ahead on the scoreboard here a high long kickoff Waiting now is Vito. Oh! Oh, what happened there? In any case, opportunity gone for the Wyverns. The tackle was a bit high, but the ref accepts that it wasn't intentional. Here's the replay. Good decision. The contact was too high, and they'll take the penalty. Barrett is going to kick it for touch. And it's gone into touch. So throw to come here for the Dolphins. Raymakers grabs it. And he's shaken up by that one. Breaks through. Coles finally tackled. The Dolphins have arrived in numbers. Pops it to Smith. Got through the first tackle. Ineffectual tackle from Pilotta now. Kane not finished yet. So more formed here. Now it's underway. Here's the pass. Sevilla gets his legs pumping. Kirkpatrick offloads. Kane finally stopped. The ball is set up in the ruck. Piranara gets it away. Back inside to Thrush. Down he goes in the tackle. Now this will be a kick and chase. The Dolphins chasing hard. Oh, and that's high on Kane. Oh dear, the whistle goes as they get the ref's attention and this is right on their own line. Will he get away with just a warning for that? That's what I'm wondering. Well, just have a look here. Yes, things falling apart there, Nisbo. A bit untidy, really. Now looking to increase their lead with a shot at goal.
So this kick right in front of the uprights. Barrett lands the penalty goal. That was well within his range and it looked pretty good. He's got great balance, hasn't he? So that is a good result of some good play from the Dolphins. A useful lead now. The restart. Waiting for it is Smith. Boy, he can really motor. That's a good long run. The Wyverns might have stolen this. And the ball's turned over. The number nine. It was good work from him, which then created the turnover. Yes, indeed. Cornwall, lovely tackle. The scrum half pops it back on the inside. Good fend. And the advantage is over. Now it's off to the left winger. Hiranara, very nimble on his feet there. Thrush is absolutely smashed. Here's danger. Jose Gear with a good burst. The referee signals, and that's five on the board. Their performance is dominant in this game so far, and the scoreboard definitely reflects that. Exceptional skill, superb try. They are looking very strong at the moment. and the conversion to come. Barrett with an easy conversion in front of the posts. And the kick is over. Score now 29-8. Yeah, this guy is superb at kicking the ball at goal. They're really dominating this match now. So the kickoff is made. The kickoff fielded by Raymakers. And penalty. He's dead set being hit by a beast, flattened by the high arm. They really need to work hard to reduce the penalty count. It's an area of concern, I'd say. Let's watch here. Good spotting by the referee. It was definitely high that tackle. So coming up to half time here. The Dolphins have a line-out, 10 on the opposition side of halfway. <laughs> Flat to Pilota now. And that's been lost forward. Playing advantage here for the Dolphins. Looked like a concentration lapse from the number three. And forward pass. And we'll just have a look at this. There's going to be a scrum. Touch. And a good hit there by the Wyverns. Both teams putting pressure on. The Dolphins have stolen this. Hiranara picks up. Well, it's a wonderful sidestep from Smith. Oh, Jenkins! It's a penalty. The number 12. Hit him high there, but it wasn't malicious, so it's just a penalty. Well, to be honest, I think that's justified. He deserves to be sent off for that. Here's the replay. Good decision. The contact was too high, and they'll take the penalty. And they'll look to pull a bit further ahead here. I don't expect this kick is going to present a problem. Barrett, his boot is good, and they go out to a very handy lead. The goal kicking has been pretty good so far in this game. So, half-time here, 
The Dolphins lead by 32 8. The scoring stats show a lean towards the Dolphins. Four tries to one. It's a good sized crowd here in Wellington, and I expect they'll be looking forward to another excellent half of rugby. And you'd have to say, pretty much all one way traffic, Justin. They've been in such amazing form lately, and they're continuing that here. Good work being done by the forwards, and you can see that in the hit up figures. And you can see in those hit ups that they're not afraid to carry the ball forward. The Dolphins leading the second half underway from Barrett. Kickoff dragged down by Cornwall. Vito reels him in. Perinara reaching the 22. Thrush sends it off to Kirkpatrick. And he's out of the tackle. The opportunity to score here. And a chance. Coles picks it out of the back. May brought down now. The Wyverns have stolen this. Well, there's a lot of work for them to do to try and tidy this game up. They've turned the ball over far too often. Pretty good run from Amesbury. Anybody's ball here. Passes for McCaw. Nice short pass. No way through. Ball is ready now. The number five picks up and runs. Breaks the tackle and pushes on. Jenkins looks to offload. Pelotta now keeps going. Cornwall loses some ground. It's been an excellent performance and tackling as well. The tight head prop picked up the penalty. Yeah, he's hit him high. Clocked him right on the chin. Yeah, the penalty count's starting to mount in his bow, and there might be some frustrations creeping through. Let's have a look at this. Things just not going right for them there, and the mistake came as a result. This shouldn't be a problem. The Dolphins out to a good lead now with that penalty. Yeah, he's striking the ball really well. They could end up with a cricket score here. The Dolphins have had a great game so far and dominate the scoreboard. Kick off from the Wyverns. Sevilla to secure this. Good offload by Fruin. Cornwall unable to stop him. Sevilla tidies up. And that's a line out just outside halfway. Thompson stretching up. Advantage. Nice work at the line out by Thompson. Offloads to Smith with a little flick to May. Vito shows great strength to get through that one. They get a penalty. He could have seen a card for that, Nisbo, but I don't think it was intentional. Yet another penalty against them, Nisbo. They really need to watch their discipline. We'll have a look here. He clearly went above the chest. The ref is right to call it. The Dolphins go for three more here. Well, they certainly don't need it. The number 15 steadies himself for the kick. And the kick is off the post. Well, his balance wasn't good, and he's missed the kick as a result. Oh! Oh, here's a penalty. Well, it looked high to me, and the ref agreed too. I think he's lucky to get away with just the penalty. There might be a yellow card here. The front rower was caught up in the middle of that. Let's look at this replay. He clearly went above the chest. The ref is right to call it. The number 10 will look to find touch. And finds touch. Five on the opposition side of halfway.
The number five dragged it down nicely. That was a good clean line out from the Wyverns. Pallotta now with a good darting run. Breaks through. They get him this time. Throws it on for Jenkins. He's chucked a beautiful pass inside. It's still on for the Wyverns. Still there, I think, for the Wyverns. Wigglesworth picks it up. It's up the number four. Fumbles it and lost a golden opportunity there. And advantage for the Dolphins. His hand's just letting him down on that occasion, and he's knocked it on. An unforced error, really. Running straight at Smith. It's been brought back for the scrum. Well, have a look at this. Yeah, he couldn't handle the ball and then knocked it on. He'll be annoyed at that. I'd say with the way the game has been going, they'd be pretty happy. Fed now by Piranara. It could be over for the Wyverns. They're a long way behind. And a good battle going on here. Halfback takes the ball. I've just got the feeling that was a dominant scrum that time for the Dolphins. The right winger snaps it up. Right. Now we'll have a scrum. You get the feeling they are packing the superior scrum here. The Dolphins got a good shove on there. A brutal contest in the scrum. The ball is out, collected by Piranara. Vito, not quite so easy to put away. Good turnover ball. I think their ability to retain possession is just letting them down at the moment. Here comes the chase. And it's regathered by the number 11. He's stopped now by Cornwall. It's there for the Dolphins. Sends it out to Barrett. Back on the inside to Kirkpatrick. And it was lost forward by Piranara. And they've got an advantage to the Wyverns. He really should have been able to take the ball from the look of it, but he lost it. They've turned it over, beautifully done. Pass goes to Kirkpatrick. Advantage was being played, so back for the scrum. And we'll just have a look at this. Yeah, he just lost control of the ball on that occasion. The front rower is coming back on Nisbo, returning from the bin. It's going to be a scrum. The Wyverns looking to get the upper hand. Ball comes for Wigglesworth. Amesbury runs smack into the defence. So they get a more going. The ball there with the number seven. Flicks a little one to McCaw. Oh, good night! And the penalty is given. Yeah, that was a shockingly high tackle. Although, at least he made an attempt to keep his arm chest high. It's a straight red too, Nisbo, no warning. But the ref is right. What he did was right out of order. Let's watch here. The number three, back on the field now. That's been 10 minutes. Wilkinson will look to find the sideline. And it's in touch. So this is a line out, 10 out from the 22. The number five claims the ball. They are really outstanding in the lineup. It's an area I know they've been working on. This is a good run. That's the offloading skill we'd love to see. 
Van Dell diving and that's a try. The left winger did a fantastic job there and it was a brilliant finish. How fired up are they now after that? Just check the build up in the replay here. A chance to add another two here. Right, here's the kick. Oh, and I think this is going to miss. It just narrowly misses. Yeah, he didn't hit it well, did he? It really just didn't come off the boot that sweetly at all. Barrett kicks off. Smith snaps up the kickoff. He's taken down hard. Back it goes now for Coles. Excellent tackle there. And the ball lost forward by the Dolphins. Yes, advantage is over. Well, just have a look here. He just couldn't control the ball. He'll be disappointed with that. A scrum now to the Wyverns. Both teams putting pressure on. Furious looking scrum down there. Wigglesworth off the back. Cut out ball. And just a flat ball there by Cornwall. That's a knock on. So ref playing advantage. He wasn't quite on the timing there, and it just consequently went through his hands. This is first class rugby, and those sort of mistakes really have to be eliminated. We'll have a look here. He just couldn't control the ball. He'll be disappointed with that. Good pushing from both teams. The Dolphins struggling at scrum time. The ball is out, collected by Wigglesworth. So, just a few minutes remaining here. He's run into a good tackle there. McCaw picks it up, has a go. Strong defence. And it's been knocked on here by the Wyverns. And they have to come back for the scrum. We're in the last few minutes now. Let's have a look at this. Yeah, he just lost control of the ball on that occasion. And now the scrum to pack. And the scrum fed by Piranara. 35-13. The Wyburns are behind. Three minutes remaining. The scrum is savage. So their scrums have been pretty good. And it's been lost forward by the Dolphins. So, they'll come back for the scrum here. Let's watch here. Yeah, he couldn't handle the ball and then knocked it on. He'll be annoyed at that. It's going to be a scrum. The scrums have been a good old battle here, fairly even. Oh, that's good from the Wyverns. Good, strong hit. We're into the last few ticks of the clock now. Wigglesworth picks up. Morgan bursts through another. The Wyverns might still have this. Pelotta now picks and goes. And taken finally. Looks like it's there for the Wyverns. Wigglesworth charges forward. The number seven. Short pass. Amesbury taken into touch. And it's all over. The Dolphins leap in the air. They have the victory.
The Dolphins have claimed the victory. A good contest between these teams. The number 15, well, he's a superb striker of the ball. He had such confidence to his approach this match. They'll want to work on their racking ahead of their next match. They were turned over far too often. The Dolphins, the winners yet this evening. That's all we've got time for. See you next time.